Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu, you know me for a lot of automation with UiPath. Last video it was with um, email marketing with ChatGPT. We will use uh, ChatGPT to be able to uh, uh, translate different emails and so on. Today we will do the same stuff but with uh, linked, uh, LinkedIn. On the LinkedIn, we will do it like this. So the, the rules will be uh, very similar with, um, with the other one. Uh, we have here the, um, the folder. So we have an, um, a list of contacts. Uh, uh, so we have some templates. We have a template for CEO, CFO, and CPO. Uh, for all the new files, I will put the new files here, uh, the files that I don't have, the files that are not translated. And uh, here we have the contact. So we have the, co the contact and we have the, <clears throat> the position of, the, uh, of the, the people. I don't know the language. And uh, I don't know their email, but I will contact them on the LinkedIn. So the robot will go take this um, uh, list, search them on LinkedIn, find the location. Based on the location, the robot will extract the language that we speak, and the robot will write to them based on what uh, we have as a position and based on uh, uh, what we have as a template and based on the location that uh, they uh, live. So uh, that's the, the story. Let's see, run it, and we'll talk, uh, we'll talk a lot um, inside of the running the robot. So run the robot and then I will explain uh, I will explain everything from the point of um, technical implementation. So the robot uh, starts my LinkedIn and on my LinkedIn first he will uh, open the first people. First it was Boris, yeah. So we'll search for Boris. Then uh, he will see that Boris. You see that Boris it's um, on London, yeah. So VP of uh, UiPath and is based on London because it's based on London and he Boris was put there as a CMO and I don't have the um, uh, I, I I don't have the um, the template for CMO and uh, um, uh, basically I will um, the uh, chat GPT generate the template from CMO and you will see the CMO that will be um, will be created on the file so we'll have a CMO version in English so this will be the uh, the text for Boris. And you see, he, uh, he write to Boris. Next. Next one will be Enrique. Enrique, it's from Great Madrid. And he was from, uh, um, uh, the posi his position was uh, CFO or CPO. So the robot will, will take that, uh, um, uh, the, his position. And um, with his position, uh, it's able to uh, to convert it to Spanish, yeah. So uh, we'll take the template that has um, uh, uh, inside, and um, uh, we'll ask ChatGPT to translate uh, that stuff to to Spanish. So you can see that um, uh, the robot now translates everything to Spanish. We'll see that everything will be saved in the in the robot uh, for the Spanish for the next time when when he arrives to this point, and he has to come. Um, um, he has to contact something, uh, some a CPO from Spain, uh, he will know exactly how to uh, to contact this um, uh, CPO on Spain. Good. Let's see the next one. Uh, after he uh, write to Enrique, so after uh, he write everything to uh, to Enrique, uh, the robot will go to the uh, the next step. And we'll search for the next one. You remember that I have, um, uh, in Excel, I have three or four um, uh, 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 I have eight or nine people inside, yeah? So uh, this was Enrique. Then we'll go to Quentin. Quentin is from France, and um, I don't have the... Uh, um, uh, I, I have the, the template for the uh, CPO, uh, Chief Product Officer, but I have it in English. I don't have it in French. So he will um, uh, identify that he's from France. Uh, he will understand that in France they speak French language, uh, the robot then will um, will ask ChatGPT to translate the template to to French, and he will contact the uh, robot in uh, he will contact Quentin in French. So um, he's the contact in in French. Good.
when we'll finish with this one, I will uh, I will show you the Excel to, to be able to follow also the Excel, yeah? So he will save all, all this stuff on the uh, on the folders. So you'll see that uh, on folder will have the, the templates already for uh, branch for so for each for each type of um, um, conversation that he has. The robot will save templates and uh, he will lose next time. And maybe someone else will will be able to to modify these uh, templates. Okay, good. So let's go to the next one. And next one I think is Japanese. Yes, so it was my ex colleague, and uh, um, he's Japanese. Let's 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 let the robot to, to do his job. Translate the uh, the Japanese stuff. On on the end, we'll, I will show you the uh, um, I will show you all the files. Yeah. So he will ask ChatGPT about this one. He will write the file, and uh, after he write the, the file. Uh, will be able to communicate in uh, in Japanese with um... yep so you see my name it's still my name is not my name in Japanese uh, I know that I have I work in Japan and I have uh, <laughs> my, my name in Japanese it's uh, it's smaller than that with, uh, with uh, there are three or four characters it's very interesting yep good so we solve also this problem in Japanese Let's go to the next one and let's see. So it was it was Tokyo area. So you see, um, uh, this one it's Tivoli. Tivoli, you don't know exactly where it is, but I tell you that it's from Italy. So the robot will go ask. So the, the you will see the question. The, the, the to ask ChatGPT, please tell me what language uh, you usually speak on that area. Yeah. So think about if you don't have ChatGPT, uh, if you have the information just Tivoli, um, it's it's a little bit hard to uh, to understand uh, 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 on what language uh, you have there, yeah. So what uh, what language uh, uh, it's there? Because uh, if it's just Tivoli and and search Tivoli on the uh, internet, maybe you will go to Denmark to the uh, to the park, you to the uh, park from Copenhagen, yeah. So you need to to put the stuff on a context, and with this context, with uh, with location and um, um, ChatGPT, you will be able to identify the language that is correct language to the uh, addressing the uh, ad ad addressing the um, the people. And after this, you will uh, you will send the ChatGPT to translate the the message in that language. Done. Okay, we have also Italian. Let's go uh, further and let's. Um, uh, let's see, my friend Alexander Kania, and this is from uh, Warsaw. And uh, here uh, um, you will write on Polish, yeah. So let's uh, um, uh, let me check um, uh, the robot. The robot will uh, will um, will talk with ChatGPT, and um, uh, you will see that. Um, He's from uh, 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 Warsaw, and uh, he will talk uh, Polish. So now we have a Polish uh, email to to Alexander, and uh, I don't know what was his position. I think it was he. So I forced the position on the Excel just to have uh, some templates. Normally, in a full automation, you can write the position from here. Yeah, from. Um, uh, from uh, from LinkedIn and address um, this stuff on on position, but uh, uh, the target was to uh, to to check the location based on the location, identify the language with ChatGPT, then um, uh, then uh, uh, after you identify the language, write on the on the language to this one. So this is my colleague uh, Matthias from Germany. So he will identify that uh, he is on Frankfurt. So basically, the system will write him. Uh, um, uh, uh, a, me and, um, a message in uh, uh, in German. Again, he will translate to ChatGPT and uh, go and write uh, a message in German. And uh, I think uh, we have another two messages after Matthias. I have um, another two person, and then we'll go and explain the code. Yeah, but it's important to see the uh, disability. So it's very, it's very the idea. It's like this. Uh, a lot of people say that, oh, okay, ChatGPT can say a lot of things, a lot of political things, and so on. 
the, the idea is let's try to focus to use chat gpt in some real use cases in in a in a place that you are not able to um, you are not able to to decide on logic so here uh, it's very hard to put on a logic if i just read frankfurt uh, i know that he's from germany as a human for me it's very simple for you on the logic i mean you have to search on the internet you you will know that um, somewhere somehow you will understand that uh, Frankfurt is in Germany, and uh, uh, if it's in Germany, probably they speak German language. For ChatGPT, it's very easy to do this stuff, to be able to um, to write this stuff. And on translating, it's not the same with Google Translate, because you provide him a, a, the, you, you provide the robot a context. You will see that um, the prompts from ChatGPT are, uh, look, I want to talk with a person that is a CMO of a company or a CEO of a company. I don't know this person. Um, I will. Uh, I have this template, and uh, you have to translate this template. So you give ChatGPT a lot of con uh, uh, context, and when he will make the translation, will be much better than a simple Google Translate on this one. So that's the uh, that's the idea with um, creating a context for that uh, for the um, translation and provide him an, uh, a lot of uh, stuff. So here it's also a Romanian one. Um, so I send. Um, an email to one of my colleagues from Romania. And the last one will be an email that uh, he already has on the, uh, so we'll send to an, uh, a guy that is um, staying in US. And um, you will see there, you will don't need to have ChatGPT because he will uh, write the email very fast. Um, uh, he will just use the template. So we have the template on the, uh, uh, um, near the robot and this will run the, um, uh, uh, just to hear right the stuff. Done. And the last one, it's George Roth. He's on uh, Los Gatos, California. And uh, basically, the robot will identify this. And uh, uh, normally, he will write the... Uh, uh, Hello, dear George. So he has the English one uh, very fast. Yeah. And you see the robot put my name, put his name on the template and all, all this stuff, yeah? So that's the idea. Let's focus on use uh, ChatGPT on, um, let's focus on use uh, ChatGPT on different stuff that are for automation. So inside of your iPad robot, you can use ChatGPT for decisions that they are not so easy to implement on the logic or the mathematics. And these are two decisions. The decision with um, identify the location, get the language, um, the decision with um, um, with translation and so on. OK, good. Done. The end. OK, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. So basically, on this file, he, um, the system create all the uh, um, here on, on LinkedIn. So uh, uh, remember the contacts that we have. So these are the, the contacts. So it was CMO, the, um, the position for Boris. It was um, the, this one, CFO, CPO, CFO, CPO, and so on. Uh, so he write, uh, um, uh, so for Boris, he was able to create a new uh, uh, a new template with ChatGPT, and you have here the new files. So basically he create a, a new template from, you see that the, the files are are created now for, uh, in the last 10 minutes, we, we start the robot and we work with the robot for the last 10 minutes. And then he translated the CEO to Japanese, he translated Polish to Japanese, CEO to, to Polish, he translated the CEO to Romanian, he translated the CFO to German, CFO to Italian, CFO to Spanish, and the CPO to France. Yeah? So uh, basically, he was able to, to, tra uh, to translate to, to these languages. And next time, uh, when, uh, when we want to use this, uh, someone, uh, um, a user can go and uh, reshape this uh, stuff or add um, uh, different stuff, and you just move uh, you just move these files. You move these files to to the main folder. So you will go and copy paste these files to uh, to the main folder, and the robot will know that he has these files and will not uh, use ChatGPT to to translate the files or uh, to um, to do other stuff with the files. We just take the files from here and uh, send the data to to LinkedIn. Let's see what is inside. So. Inside, basically, I have a read contact. Then uh, I open the LinkedIn. I maximize the, uh, the window. 
I will do for each on the data table. Uh, then I will put the, the name of the person that I search on the data table on, the, on LinkedIn. Then I click the, the button. I get I get a text. I click the button. Then I will get the location with London, Madrid, and so on. After I get the location, <clears throat> I will go on the first sequence. And on the sequence, I will ask ChatGPT. You know, you have the loop for the uh, for the ChatGPT that I used on the other uh, systems. Uh, you have here the ChatGPT API, where um, uh, ChatGPT API, where you see all the configuration for ChatGPT. I, I don't uh, lose the time on each video to see the configuration on ChatGPT. On this one, what I will ask. So basically, what I will ask, I will ask uh, this stuff. Uh, I will ask. Tell me what language you speak in. The location, yeah. Good. Then I will get the answer. Uh, here on the answer, you see that if starting with English, that it's English. If not, it's the last. Um, uh, I I cut everything from, um, and it's the last um, uh, the last word. Yeah. So I do some cut, and, and it's the last word. Then if it's English, uh, if I have the file, if the the file, if I have the file, I will just read the file and put it on the uh, on uh, on the string. So we'll put on the string file, string str file. Uh, then if it's um, uh, if I don't have, so if I'm I have English, I have English as a decision, and I don't have the file. Um, if I have English and I don't have the fly, uh, file, I say, please provide me an email template for the uh, uh, communicate with um, the position CMO in this case. Um, is my first email with uh, with him. Uh, uh, CMO of the big company, yeah? And I want to offer him a software automation, blah, blah, blah. So I give him some context how to build the template, yeah? Good? So uh, if I do this, I will write the file. I will write the file on the uh, for the new position in, in the new files. Then if else, if it's not English, I will write the file, I will read the file for the position, which I have in English. Then I will go to ChatGPT and I will ask him, uh, um, I will have an email uh, template uh, for this position of the company and please translate me to this language. Yeah. So uh, translate to Portuguese language or to French language or so on or to Japanese. And then I will write the file with a, a new language. And then I will write the, the data to LinkedIn, to the, to the part on, on LinkedIn. Then I will click OK and go further. Done. So this is the robot with uh, with LinkedIn. So basically, uh, you have um, you have all the all the uh, all the all the connections. So basically, think about how to use uh, how to use ChatGPT in a nice play in a in a um, in a nice way inside of the robots. Uh, help uh, uh, try to put uh, uh, ChatGPT to make decisions that you are not able to decide with other logic and so on. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, comment to my videos, and tell me what else you want to see inside of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.